she was always you know, and a part of our lives. She wanted children. She loved children. Stacy Cordova's great aunt, Mary Franco, became like a second mother to her. When she found out why Mary never had children of her own, Stacy was horrified. When she told me, I just thought, oh my God, like I couldn't believe it. And then it wasn't until 2017 that I learned the truth and that this was a part of American history. More than 20,000 people were sterilized against their will in the state of California during the 20th century. And Stacy's great aunt was one of them. It often happened inside mental health institutions where doctors arbitrarily sterilized patients they deemed unfit to reproduce. And the eugenics laws at the time allowed it. Basically, what they were doing was these laws were targeting uh, pretty much it was very racist and classist. So it was targeting the immigrant immigrants or descendants of immigrants um, as well as as the poor. And so what they would do is there was this title feeble minded that was being used quite often and they would deem someone feeble minded. And then in an effort to stop this feeble mindedness, the goal was to stop them from reproducing. In Mary Franco's case, she was being sexually abused by a middle aged man, according to Cordova. Instead of receiving treatment for her trauma, a mental asylum in Southern California used her abuse to justify a tubal ligation, coercing her parents to sign these papers when she was still a child. She was just 13 years old at the time that this happened. What did she know? What did she understand about this procedure? She knew what had happened. She knew that she was no longer able to have children anymore um, after the procedure. I I wish she got the help because she really needed it. She battled a lot of things later on in life um, that I believe were due to, you know, what had happened to her at such a young age. And it makes me sad that she blamed herself for it. While most of this happened in the first half of the 1900s, it wasn't until 1979 that California's eugenics laws were repealed. Some historians believe California's mass sterilizations even influenced Nazi Germany's eugenics program. It's an ugly history that several American states share. The estimated number of forced sterilization victims across 32 states is more than 60,000. This week, a turning point in the pursuit of justice. As part of a budget deal signed by Governor Gavin Newsom, the Forest or Involuntary Sterilization Compensation Program will allocate a total of $7.5 million to survivors of California's sterilization effort. And it's not just an apology, but there's be, there's some material, you know, acknowledgement of, of this harm. Ana Valladares is with California Latinas for Reproductive Justice. She estimates nearly 400 living survivors may qualify for compensation. Those who come forward could receive up to $25,000 from the state. And it's so important, again, to putting pressure on making sure that whatever protections or laws are are being put forward, that they're actually being implemented and being followed through. Coerced sterilizations are not as far in the distant past as you might think. In 2013, the Center for Investigative Reporting revealed that doctors in the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation sterilized nearly 150 female inmates from 2006 to 2010 without required state approval. It was It wasn't until a year later that California officially banned coerced sterilizations as a form of birth control in prisons. And just last year, lawyers for more than 50 women detained in a Georgia ICE detention center say they were forced or pressured into having unnecessary gynecological procedures, including hysterectomies. Investigations are still ongoing. The Biden administration is discontinuing use of that facility. And like there's other pictures of like babies everywhere. She just loved children. Although her great aunt passed away before she could receive reparations, Stacy is determined to keep her memory alive. I just feel it in my heart to share more about her and more about this journey. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.